والله انا اللي صار معايا انا هذا شيء كان مفاجئ بالنسبه لي نزل صاروخ ونزل المكان كلهيته دمرت المكتب ودمر المبنى كلهيته عشت في المجال هذا واسسته وبنيته وانشاته يعني طوال فتره 40 سنه وانا في مجال العمل هذا في لحظه واحد راح Honestly, it was uh, very visceral. I saw a photo of this library that had been bombed, and I saw his phone number on the building, and I WhatsApped him and asked if he needed help. I learned that he'd lost uh, almost 90,000 books, and so from there grew the, the idea to help him restock his, his uh, book collection as well. Complete from books? To collect some books. Really. Obviously, you can donate. You can donate money, and that's one way of helping. Um, and people should. Um, but I felt I felt like I wanted to do more, like just physically do more. Be able to, you know, just um, get in a van or get your hands dirty and be able to help in another way. It's not about race or religion. It is about humanity. It's just such a sad situation that these people have very little anyway, and what very little they did have has been taken away from them. Gaza has so little. I think these people don't just need to be held to account, they need to be shamed that they're making a big profit out of this madness so that perhaps we can move people towards a rather more civilized world. And we also have educational books for children. It's been amazing to see so many people just volunteer their time and their resources and um, this project has become something that belongs to everybody. كل الشكر لكل واحد بساعد كان ماديا او بالكتب او معنويا يعني شيء بيرفع يعني من معنويتي ونفسيتي اكثر يعني بتخلينا نظلنا مستمر لما انا اشوف ناس يعني بسندوني بالشكل هذا